Well, survivors of the Boston Marathon bombings watched as accused bomber Jahar Zarnayev was arraigned Wednesday in federal court in Boston. NBC's Katie Turr is in Boston with reaction. Good morning, Katie. Good morning, Natalie. It was a short but intense day here at federal court yesterday as Johar Sarnayev entered formal pleas of not guilty in the marathon bombings. This as family members and victims looked on, hoping to find some remorse from the teenager charged with ripping apart so many lives. It was the 19-year-old's first appearance since being captured following a day-long manhunt that held the nation's attention back in April. His arm in a cast, his face more noticeably swollen than the images the world has come to know him by. Sarnayev answered not guilty seven times as the 30 charges, including using a weapon of mass destruction, were read to him. He then blew a kiss to his crying sisters as he left the courtroom. No words for the crush of media as they departed, but others described the brief seven-minute hearing. He was a punk. He showed no remorse. That's what my impression was. Also on hand, a number of the bombing survivors, each wanting to see the suspected terrorist with their own eyes. I think he should suffer in jail for the rest of his life. Death is too quick. Along with victims' families like Liz Norton, whose two sons, JP and Paul, each lost a leg in the blast. I don't know, I actually felt sick to my stomach. Little comfort for some. But for others, it was seven minutes that brought Sarnayev one step closer to justice. It's the next step in our healing for Boston. I want to be here to support uh, the victims as well as just to be here to support Boston. Now, the next hearing is September 23rd. Prosecutors say during the trial they expect to call 80 to 100 witnesses. That could take about four months. And, of course, if they decide to pursue it, Sarnayev could face the death penalty. Natalie. All right, Katie Turr in Boston for us. Thank you, Katie.